Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we have cre successfully created the slope sub vi. As you can see over here, we have successfully created the uh, sub vi with the correct connector pane as well as the icon for this sub vi called slope. Now, and also, we have uh, been quite successful with testing out this sub vi as well. So now, what is next? Now, after having saved this slope sub vi and tested it working successfully, now what we can do is that we are going to now open a new vi. All right. So in this new vi, we are going to open up, maximize the front panel. We are going to do a tile left and right. So in this new VI, we are going to create, this is a main VI if you like. Now, first of all, maybe I would like to bring you back to the lab sheet again. This is the VI lab sheet number two. Notice we have done this and now on this particular step, we are supposed to create a new VI and call this VI plotline.vi. So what it does is that in this new VI, we are the we will it will look something like this this is the block diagram of this new vi called plotline.vi so in this new vi called plotline.vi which we will be creating we can see that the slope uh, sub vi icon is being placed here the idea is that this sub vi or sometimes uh, in other languages they call it subroutine so you can call this uh, slope vi to perform the necessary function to calculate the slope, to calculate the up tangent, as well as the angle in degrees. And uh, now remember that because it is a straight line equation, we can insert the coordinates, the x0, y0, x1 and y1 coordinates. And we can actually display this on an xy graph which I will show you shortly. Now this is something new. This is called a build array function, which I will show you how to create this as well, as well as this function called the bundle. All right. So now let's say the objective is to build this slope VI. So bringing you back to the this uh, blank VI, I will first of all go to file, save as. All right. Now you can save it at appropriate at your appropriate um, directory. So I'll call this uh, plot.vi and I'm going to save it. Now first thing first, what I can do is that I can do this, right? I can go to my earlier slope subvi here and I'm going to pull left click on your mouse and drag this icon out as shown right you will notice that this sub vi has been drawn out into this new uh, vi called plot vi block diagram okay maybe i'll just demonstrate again so this is the sub vi right i'm just going to left click on it and hold your mouse left click and drag it over to the block diagram of the plot dot vi block diagram over here okay i'm going to close this sub vi okay so now i'm going to construct this block diagram as shown over here this is my uh, lab sheet too so what i do is that uh, i can right click call the wiring tool i'm going to because notice that there are four terminals four input terminals there are three output terminals over here. So to make us easier for us, I'm going to bring the wiring tool to the input terminal. I'm going to right click and create a control. Okay. Okay. Now, so this is the uh, one of the controls here. I'm going to right click, create the next one, right click create control so I have the second one 
I'm going to right click again, create, control for the third one. And finally, right click again, create, control for the fourth input terminals. Okay, so I can then also select the entire block diagram. Okay, I'm going to expand a bit here. I'm going to use this tool called the cleanup section. Click on it, you will notice that the block diagram has been organized quite nicely. Now, after having select this slope VI uh, icon, I can use the, the four arrow keys up, left, top and down keys to move this in any position that you wish. Okay, then we will proceed to right click on the function palette here to, to get a while loop. Right, I'm going to put a while loop over here and I will right click at the con loop condition terminal here to create a control as a stop button. Right, we need a stop button to stop this uh, program. Now, so uh, let's quickly do some tidying up. This is my x0, y0, x1, y1, okay, and, and my stop button is over here. Now, the next thing to do is to put a timing wait millisecond timer so that uh, we can control the loop rate of this uh, while loop. Right, now the next thing to do is to right click over here. Now this is something new. This is called the uh, array function. Okay, array, you can see over here. Now, so we're going to uh, right click again, array. We will use the uh, this thing called the uh, build array. I'm going to put this build array here. Right click, I'm going to switch on the label as well so you can see. Now the next thing to do is to resize a bit. You can navigate your cursor to the middle of this array function. Left click on your mouse and drag. Okay, notice that I have now two input elements. Okay, so you can actually drag as many as you need. For example, over here, but uh, we only need two inputs. As you can see. So the trick is to select that uh, build array function and then just drag it. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to have another one as well. We're going to have another build array. So we have two. And we also need a, a bundle function. Alright, if I can draw you back to the lab sheet over here, we need this bundle function. Right, and right click, go to cluster. Okay, that is a bundle function. So let's select uh, this bundle function and drag it down as shown. Okay, now I'm going to wire the output of the build array to the input of this uh, bundle function. Okay, then I'm going to also wire the x not x not to the input here, following closely to the diagram and also the x1 right select x1 wire to the input of the top build array function now secondly i will wire the uh, y not to the input of the second build array function as well as the y1 to this build array function as shown now moving back to the front panel, I will right click, I will go to the graph and I will choose a XY graph Okay, over here. Now do not be afraid if your control uh, graph looks a bit different because currently I'm selecting this silver, silver uh, palette. Okay, because there are different types of palette that you may choose from. Okay, so uh, I, I decided to go for the silver one because there are different types, you have the modern silver system and so on. So just pick, they are basically the same. 
So I'm going to choose the XY graph and I'm just going to drop it over here. Right. So I'm going to put it here. Now I'm going to wire this output of this bundle function to here. I'm almost done. I'm going to just right click create an indicator for each of these. Okay. And I should be done. Right click create an indicator. So now I will be running this uh, slope bi as you can see. I'll just click run. You will see that an equation of a straight line has been formed accordingly over here. You okay, can click the stop button and of course you need to do some uh, adjustment of the uh, inputs as shown. Thank you for watching. I'll pause my recording here.